And we begin tonight with that local breaking news out of Richmond, where the school district has laid down the law. Teachers and staff must get vaccinated in order to return to the classroom. And that decision coming after those for and against the vaccine mandate spoke out at an RPS school meeting. Back to school team reporter Brent Solomon live at MLK Middle School tonight. And Brent, how soon do teachers have to comply with this? Kurt, I'm told as soon as tomorrow, teachers will get an email telling them how to show the district they've been vaccinated. That doesn't mean everyone's excited about this. Thank goodness this is the right thing to do. We are on the right side of history here. Parent Emily Kavanaugh sitting in on Monday's RPS board meeting. This is the news she wanted. The educators need to follow the science. I think that that's their obligation is to follow the science. The superintendent agrees. It's why he proposed a COVID vaccine mandate for all teachers and staff this school year. We know that the vaccine is the most effective mitigation strategy that is available to all of us. The state's vaccine coordinator on hand telling school leaders just how much the Delta variant has led to more COVID cases. We had a really great change. We had about 150 cases a day total for the entire state. And now we are averaging somewhere between 1,500 and 1,600 cases a day. So a 10X increase in the number of cases. That doesn't mean all teachers want it to be told to get a shot. The science changes as we get new data. The vaccine mandate is only going to create more mistrust, more pushback. Board member Jonathan Young, the only one voting against the mandate. Although he believes in vaccinations, he believes teachers should have a choice. When we consistently convey messaging that we don't trust them, in the end, the superintendent getting his whoosh. Teachers and staff with RPS will have to show proof of vaccination by October 1st. That's a few weeks after the school year begins. They have a moral and ethical obligation to take care of and protect the children of this city. All right, now there will be some exceptions to the mandate. For instance, teachers who might have medical reasons or religious reasons that could prevent them from getting a vaccine. The district says they'll have to have a doctor sign off on that. We're live in Richmond on your side tonight. Brent Solomon, NBC 12. All righty, thank you, Brent.